Good evening, heroes and heroines, and welcome to what has the potential to be the shortest ever episode of um, Present Dragon Can See. Um, where we're just going to try and do this locate like, project's function. Um, we've got 23 and a half minutes of music queued up uh, in which we are going to attempt to do this thing. So basically, um, you can see over here, actually, from the previous run of the program, um, you can see the configuration, the past configuration here, and this little bit of information is printing out um, the project indices of the projects. <coughs> Are they supposed to, supposed to exit? Um, so apparently we're looking for, well, I'll just show you what exactly what that is actually. It's this it's this stuff here, right? So <clears throat> we're printing the config and then we're going to pull out from the config one project called Risky. We're going to pull out it's a child of Risky called Book. Then we're going to pull out a child of Book called Risk called Reader. And these printouts here zero one, one four and two one. Are corresponding to the indices for this, this, and this project. So if we look up in the config, we should find risky as this is it. I'm sure it said zero one, didn't it? <laughs> it's zero, zero one, one four, and two one, right? So that's meaning that it's found this zero one, one four, wasn't it? One four is book, which is absolutely which is that and two one wasn't it reader so that's actually got the correct that is telling us that these guys have got their indices correctly set then this line here corresponds to this call here which is saying <coughs> the current generation the current projects index generation and index index so Yesterday we found that the get project from project and get project from config functions were themselves trying to basically set. They were, trying, they were basically doing this procedure here. They thought they were responsible for doing this. Uh, they're really not. I mean, I think maybe they were at the time, but we didn't have the notion of um, the database initialization actually being responsible for this, I don't think. <clears throat> so we can just totally get rid of that. Um, because a get function really should not be at all interested <laughs> in setting anything like this. Right, so yeah. Um, we got two one, and we want to just see. We want to get the um, the project located by locate project. So we're locating by the project index. So we're passing apparently we're passing two one to this guy, and we need to get that to return the correct project. And we're not getting that at all. You can see that apparently we're getting risky returned when we should be getting reader returned. Now risky is zero one. We're looking for two one, so it's possible that we're not we're just not accounting for the generation correctly. Or it's possible there's something else. So I suggest we can step in and see what we're actually doing. It wasn't in the neighborhood, wasn't it? Yeah, we can actually get rid of those. So it's this locate project is what we want. So let's first of all take a look at the project that we've been passed. We should look scene two one, shouldn't we? Ah. Well hold on, do we need to step? There we go. That's interesting, you never, never encountered that before. 
So yeah, we're looking for the project that's generation two index one, which is reader. That's good enough to me. So if we've got project block at all, we could use our um, get first project of block function here. That's probably what we will need to do actually. It's possible that the locate project recursively should be responsible for accumulating actually. Isn't it? It's going to be zero at this point. I guess actually we didn't. Did we? Did we try and increment that thing? Yeah, you can see actually <clears throat> we don't actually increment the. What? What are we doing? Well, maybe we do. Let's continue anyway. So yeah, we should be sitting, shouldn't we? At the first generation, at uh, the first project still. So we should be looking at hero. Yeah. Now, I think we need to be doing something different here. I think we should have actually got out the, we should be getting the first child. I think that's what we want to be doing. Hero is the zero, zero index. Isn't it? Yeah, so this is going to be essentially the the first child. We're not looking at the right generation, so we need to go, we need to send it to a generation. And this has no children. Yeah, so this just ain't, it's not, it's not iterating through correctly at all. You know, as we got the the function we were doing yesterday was correctly doing the skip produce in children. I think this just saying this just isn't quite the quite the mustard at all. So let's just start off by doing something that I think we need to do. Which is locate project. Oh, sorry, it's locate um, first child project block. So in the locate project function, 
There's your block, and let's get the first child, it's the store child. And I think because we're always talking about the the storedness here, if we can just forget about the um, the thing. So we don't need to do any of this. If the project generation is zero, for in I equal zero. If Frodo the index is that, otherwise we want to skip Frodo. Right. If Frodo is zero. I think I was sort of saying rather than Can't we just do? Oh yeah, right. So we're going over the previous block out. So we can't actually um, do that all in here. So yeah, I think that is actually okay. I think if you get down to here, you haven't found it, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, Nobody's skipping, are they?
got those functions, have we? Yeah. This is undeclared. be wrong but I think it's a little bit more right I mean I should actually get into the function honestly So we're looking for two one. Um, what's the first child? First child is hero. Okay. Didn't we also say that if the project's generation is equal to zero, shouldn't we be incrementing? Um, for each of these guys well I guess we're incrementing the I aren't we it's the accumulator really is what we want to be talking about I suppose yeah to be a bit more right about it I should you know, just to make it marry up um, with the like it wrote it recursively I should probably actually talk about the accumulator. So I'm doing if product.index is equal to the accumulator.index. And as we go through this loop, if we're on the correct generation, um, Yeah, I mean, even if like if the product generation is equal to the accumulated generation, then we come into here, and then for that we we increment the accumulator's index, and then test against the product index. Press test product index against the accumulator index. It doesn't make much of a difference here because I think we're sort of hard coding all the values, so everything's going to marry up to be what it would be anyway. Yeah, also this for loop surely has to be equivalent to the child. Yeah, that's almost complete garbage, isn't it? Let's we'll just change these. I think I'm pretty sure we do need to do Pretty sure that's what you need to do. And then here you go, if you accumulate to Right, that's what I'm talking about. So if the project generation is equal to the accumulated generation, I think you should see it up here. That's the same, yeah, this accumulated generation is equal to the desired pro generation.
if it's the same. Otherwise, we just send it to its children. Oh, I see. Um, we descend into its children before skipping it. Ah, hang on a second. Am I doing this incorrectly? Am I actually supposed to be saying get the first child of this person? I think that's, I think you are actually, aren't you? Step through and see what happens. So we go, we've got two one. Got the first child. Well, hang on a second. If we haven't got a child, I'm going to do this. That's going to be screwing us over, isn't it? So this ain't right. Let's just continue anyway. <laughs> so again, we're looking for 2 1, aren't we? So we think we're looking through generation one. We're now looking through the second generation to see if we can ac accumulate any dudes. At least we would do if there was any children of that thing, which there are, which seems okay. And then we skip that child. So having done that, I don't think we've skipped any. We haven't touched the accumulator, have we? No. So I think basically we need to try and get to somebody who even has a child count themselves. Yeah, now unfortunately when you return zero here, yeah, we don't have a child. So what I'm suggesting is rather than using this child here, I think you actually need to save off a grandchild I think <laughs> It's not actually a grandchild, is it? It's a 
it's just a it's just a child. Um, let's just call it child two, <laughs> which is just going to be that. Child, child. So I hope we should at least be able to talk about this person. music is finished by the way so we have not managed to um, do it in the allotted time so yeah, we didn't get that there's no child so now we want to say that the child is skip and children of child 2 so what is child 2 now that's still hero which is great So what is the child now? It's Ray. Risky rather, yeah, cool. So let's try and locate <coughs> pretty recursively. So the first child of this person should be also called Risky, but it should have a child count of zero. Yeah, and it's also got a title. The accumulated generation. Right. Yeah, that's got no, got no children. children. Yeah, this probably needs to be the same same deal probably to save off that child. Well here we go. We're looking at risk. So this won't have anything either. But this time we're looking at book which has got two children so we should get in here we should be able to locate that pretty recursively we are looking at accumulated generation of two now aren't we and we're looking for two one so if we step into here this child has two children we are the right generation is it the right index? No. Uh, we're not skipping. Well, actually, we kind of are because we we do skip down here, don't we? But the trouble is, well, I mean, we might get away with it because we're not going to descend into this. Let's get that project. We have accumulated into the index, haven't we? Yeah, so we're now looking at the right person. Uh, and the child should be reader, shouldn't it? Yeah, so with a bit of luck. This is uh, what we want to be returning. If we try to return that child, we're just returning that child all the way down. Yeah, so we have got the right project this time. We've got it working. Um, which is more than uh, we usually manage to do 
first time I'm trying to do this. Uh, I'm going to call it there. 31 minutes. <clears throat> I think I might sleep on it. Or maybe just let it mull over uh, while Hammered Heroes on. Uh, and maybe see if I can sort of. I don't know, just make that a bit tighter. Because it seems a bit dodgy that we're saving off that child too in one of the cases. It just feels a bit like uns unsystematic, basically. <laughs> I don't want to be looking at myself doing that, doing the actions. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Um, thank you very much, Hazen Heroids, for being here, uh, for, for having the um, the low attention span befitting such a short stream, and for being correctly located. That's the most important thing. Thank you, most importantly, for being correctly located. Until next time. Well, for now.